Marvel Poll Review. Apollo Magazine. Seven balls. Apollo. Let's start with Apollo. Apollo is a small gun. Not very that not that small, but very loud. It's a very loud, very powerful for a small gun. So we'll talk about that later. We'll talk about the magazine first. <coughs> the magazine holds seven of these high impact rounds. They're soft yellow foam balls. Not every country has Rival. Like Rival is brand new. <laughs> Even though I've heard of Rival before it came in here, but Rival is something brand new like last year because we've never had Rival before. So Rival's brand new and I just got this at Toys R Us uh, today. And it's a very comfy box except for the stock. This is very slippery. If I can put something like makes it so uncomfortable. Like if this was a stock, this would be nice. Like I keep applying force and it hurts my shoulder. But that's one thing that's not so cool, but it's really very wet. So it has the rival logo because it's a rival gun. Obviously, now this is a different gun. It doesn't have a chain door. It's just like the Nerf Nemesis. But unlike the Nemesis, you take off the hopper, just put your finger inside it. This is different. This is a spring gun. It goes like that. Like, oh no, there's a jam. I can't pull this thing. I can't pull the trigger. What am I gonna do? You use this switch. Like, uh, oh. Oh, okay. So since you can't pull this anymore, and then there's jam, you can't pull this. You use this to release the lock. And here we have the magazine release. It's okay, which is super cool. Like you can just reload the gap. And you don't actually have to prime it. Like other guns, you have to pull back the slide pump. To remove the magazine, this one doesn't need to, which is super cool. Then you can just do that. Then you can just keep on firing. This is a very comfortable, not the comfiest, but it's not even a comfy blaster at all. <coughs> like the chaos, but the grip of the chaos is a bit smaller, and this one is more. Fatter, beefier, like it. It's bigger because it holds in the magazine. As you can see, that's how big the space is, and this is the magazine. Like I said, it holds seven rounds. Just put in it like that, or you can just do this. Like if it's on the ground, it's called an easy reload magazine. So once you have seven rounds, it only holds. It only holds seven rounds, and he, this is one thing that is not super cool. But the rival magazines, it has this thing. Not all uh, like the chaos one also has its own type of. This is a release switch. I don't know why did they put that, but obviously this is what happens. You pull the switch down. Everything will just try to pop out. So, is it like an ejection? Maybe it works like that because everything is held in place. Not like a nerf dart where it just springs up, pops out. And tuk -tuk. This thing, maybe this was pressed by a, maybe something inside there. And this thing chambers in because this is a ball. Maybe this is a different technology. So, so we get back on the blaster. It's a tactical rail, you can put all the weapon attachments, a barrel, 
and more stuff inside. The magazine chamber. The trigger, which is ginormous, and the lock. It's a button instead of a switch, so you can so you can just use this, use your other hand. Do that all day. And then here we have an indicator. Once you climb the blaster. Oh, oh my. Oh, you'll see it's orange. Oh, yeah, it's orange. Once you pull the trigger, it turns black. And it makes that loud noise. And unlike the other rival blasters, it says XB. I don't know why. But I think XBI. I think I means above 10 rounds. This holds 12. That's uh, 12. This holds 7 rounds. All the other blasters hold above 10 rounds. So it has that I at the back. And there are some blasters that says MXVI. And some just says XVI. M. I think it means motorized. Well, this is not a motorized, this is the smallest one. So, nothing else to point out. Very nice blaster. It's a slide. Very small. Yep, that's all I have to say. So, we're going to the fire test. 